Hello folks, Garrett French here with Citation Labs. I'm going to walk you through setting up at your first campaign in the Link Prospector tool. All right, first and foremost, we got to log in. So let's add the right email address there and a password. And now we're going to set up our first campaign. I name my campaigns after clients or projects. Uh, and then all the reports fall underneath each campaign. It's just sort of a way to better organize your reports based on who they're for. So we have, uh, for this case, we're going to call it our web design service project. Um, and this is a uh, service that is targeted towards affiliate marketers. So we want to do some guest posting, build some links there, and also build a little brand and buzz for ourselves with content. All right, so we're going to create a new report. I quickly want to show you custom reports. And th with these, we pass the, uh, the phrases exactly as you type them um, over to the search engines and bring you back exactly what we find. So you can add up to 20 search phrases. And if you know exactly the footprint that um, you're looking for, this is the way to do that. And you can use in title, in text, uh, in URL, uh, whatever advanced operators you want to use that are going to help you find the best uh, best prospects for your campaign. So for this though, we're going to create a new report. Uh, and this, you only add five research phrases and we will append to the end our own um, footprints. So we're looking for guest posts. Um, some of these others we'll go into later. Um, so. We're going to add some research phrases here that are certain to bring back some guest posting opportunities within the verticals that we're targeting. And so I've added my research phrases and now I'm going to go ahead and submit. And I've got some really wonderful writing on this side over here. Read it and then forget it and then play. And that's how you're going to really learn how to uh, query using this tool. Um, certainly some good advice over here, but you'll, uh, you'll, you'll learn the most by just doing it. Um, let's see. Well, great. So let's go see if it's done yet. No, it's not. You currently have one pending report. Let me tell you, it's going to take probably about 30 to 45 minutes to get your results back. Uh, it could even be longer depending upon how busy we are at that time. So you're going to want to submit as many reports as you can all, all at once, kind of in a batch, and then we'll get them back to you. We'll drip them back as we get them done. We'll send you emails right to your inbox. But through the magic of technology, I got instant results. Look at this. All right, here is a result set back from... Uh, the link prospector. Remember our research phrases and we appended all of these with uh, things like in title guest post, guest post in quotes, etc, etc, and ran uh, a bunch of queries and brought the results back for you. Now you'll notice here we have an OCC rank, that's occurrence rank, that's how many times this domain appeared in the overall results set. Um, we have 2,217 total domains here, okay? Now, we don't have any, any kind of metrics for analyzing the value of these domains, and right now we don't have contact information. So you are, I wouldn't say necessarily flying blind, but because uh, the current strength certainly does begin to uh, give you a, a, a bit of guidance, but what this is, is just a power tool for, for prospecting. Um, you notice uh, quite a few of you know, your uh, usual suspects when it comes to um, making money online, the affiliate kind of space, and uh, all of these would be great prospects for uh, guest posting potentially. Um, let's see. So we can begin to go through here and say yes, yes, yes. Mm, I think ProBlogger, not for now. Definitely, uh, they're, they're, that would be a great place to guest post, but uh, maybe, you know, not quite yet. Yes, yes, yes. 
And let's go ahead and export domains now. Export paths, you're going to get back uh, all the URLs we found. Um, also, if you want to get a sense of, um, you know, what what, uh, what URLs appeared for this domain, you can just click the plus and minus there to, to take a look at what, what came back for each domain. Um, pretty nifty, pretty fun. Um, it, it gives you a good sense, you know, if they have a right for us page, okay, definitely we should check them out. Um, let's go ahead and export uh, domains here though. Okay. So you can see uh, we've got our list of domains and the ones that I qualified already have a yes next to them. Uh, the ones that are maybes have a question mark. Uh, and uh, so I can now go to each one of these domains and, and uh, find contact information and reach out to them. Now, uh, one thing you may have noticed, um, the BitBot, I've seen them show up a lot in, in my uh, prospecting, and they're a uh, sort of an article directory kind of site, um, doing a, apparently a pretty good job of, of uh, getting a lot of content into the SERPs these days, but um, not always a, a great prospect, and certainly if you'd already gotten an article or two there, you might want to pass by. So here's how we would remove them from all future um, queries. And let's see, first I'm going to copy that to them. And then I'm coming over here to global exclusions. And I'm going to go ahead and paste them in there. Also, Facebook comes back a lot. Um, even some Google type pages come back a lot. So. In this way, you can globally exclude domains from your results, so you never have to look at them again. You can also, um, uh, if, if at some point you said, oh, actually, I do want to see Facebook results, you can uh, just remove it, uh, and it will you, you will start to see them again. So I'm going to go ahead and save changes here, and there you have it. That's the nutshell of how the Link Prospector works. Um, please do let me know if you have questions. Garrett, G-A-R-R-E-T-T, -T -T, at citationlabs.com. I'd love to hear from you. Love to hear uh, your, your thoughts on, on how to make this work for you. Thank you so much.